Hey sports fans, just doing a quick video here about Michigan and Ohio State, the game being canceled. And you might be wondering, I'm not wearing Michigan gear. Like this is one of the first videos I can ever think of where I'm not wearing a Michigan shirt. And it's black, right? Kind of fits the mood. And there's another reason. My kids, I just got home from work and my kids are still sleeping. So I didn't want to make too much noise up there and, you know, change into some clothes. So I'll try to remember to keep a Michigan shirt <laughs> in standby but yeah it's uh the shirt's fitting it's a black day really it's a sad day for the first time since 1917 the game won't be played based on that it's like michigan and ohio state played each other every year even during world war ii like crazy and now because of covid and the spread of that the the game's not going to happen that's just really sad you just have to um, look at it from the human side of view. I mean, I would have loved to see Michigan play. I was, like, sad and depressed in my own fandom because they didn't play last week versus Maryland. And even though I totally expected Ohio State to destroy Michigan, I still would rather watch than not watch a game. And so that's just, you know, just disappointing in that. And so I'm sure Ohio State fans, especially since they were anticipating seeing another destruction of Michigan they're disappointed as well so I, I please I really hope there aren't too many fans that think Michigan did this on purpose that they did you know this uh, wave the white flag and have a fake scenario I don't want to talk about that I just think that's there's no point in talking about that so if you believe in Kirk Herbstreet's thing that like you know teams are faking COVID to get out of games then you're not seeing the reports where like 45 Michigan players were out for injuries or COVID or corn, COVID quarantine. Ohio State had 24, 23, 24 last week. So it shows that I think, honestly, I think it shows a little bit that Michigan just kind of stopped caring as much. The season was a tailspin of doom and despair. And I think the players are like, just forget this. Let's go have a fun. Let's go see our girlfriends. Let's go do some stuff. And you know what? It just it just went downhill. Now, the bigger deal going forward, looking at the Big Ten and the college football playoff, is what does the Big Ten do now with Ohio State? Ohio State's clearly the best team. However, Ohio State didn't meet the requirement of having six games. And what are they going to do? And I think it's obvious. Kevin Warren has to, the new Big Ten commission, has to admit that it was a stupid rule. They never should have made that rule before the season started. Ohio State is clearly the best team. They have the tiebreaker over Indiana. Ohio State should go to the conference title game. Now, if they hold fast, which I don't think they will, because they want to ensure they get the money, but even if they don't, say they don't, say they let Indiana go, I still don't think it hurts in, or rather, Ohio State any. Because if Ohio State plays Iowa, who is like number two in the West, a win over Northwestern or a win over Iowa is still going to get you the same thing, a trip to the college football playoff. So even when they have the crossover games next week, I still don't think it matters if they play in the Big Ten title game or versus Iowa. Northwestern or Iowa is not going to make any difference. They're still going to be undefeated. They'll be 6-0. and There's even some talk, maybe, 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 that they'll be able to play a game this week versus another team who can't play. Maybe, I don't know. I think I heard Purdue is having some issues, and maybe they'll have to cancel. And then whoever Purdue is going to play versus Ohio State, maybe they'll get that in. It might have even been Indiana, but I would have to double-check that for sure. So the clear thing to do, even if they don't play, is Big Ten, let Ohio State in. For one thing, it really secures money. Money, money, money. Especially in this financial year where so much has gone to down the drain. No fans in the stands. All that revenue lost. Get Ohio State in the Big Ten title game. Get them to the college football playoff. Get the money for the conference. That's the one thing. They're going to do it. They're, they're going to find a way to do it. I'd be shocked if Indiana still went to the Big Ten title game that Ohio State wasn't somehow put into the Big Ten title game. And you know what? This is Big Ten football. This is all about money. This is big boy sports. So I would not be shocked about it at all. So just my thoughts. Real disappointing that the game's not happening. I will, it's always fun to see Michigan play, especially against Ohio State. Even though I know Michigan was going to lose, it's still been fun to watch. 
and I'm going to miss it, and I'm sure other viewers are going to have the same sentiment, and we'll just see how it goes from here. I expect Ohio State to make it into the college football playoff. I expect the Big Ten to lean over backwards and do the right thing. Ohio State's clearly the best team in the Big Ten. Yes, they didn't play Illinois. They canceled that game, but Maryland canceled on them, and Michigan canceled on them. And when the Big Ten made that rule about three games, that wasn't the spirit of the rule. It was like it would have been like if you canceled, not that they, you had the game canceled against you. So the spirit's not there. So Big Ten, do the right thing. Get Ohio State into the Big Ten title game. Just my uh, thoughts as Michigan cancels versus Ohio State. Let me know your opinions. I'll try to respond to them. Please do not send me the ones that Michigan, you know, pushed out and all that. It's like, please. Uh, it's just COVID, okay? It's not that. But please give me your comments, and I'll try to respond as I can. As always, I'll see you next time. Oh, and if you do like this, please subscribe. I appreciate all my new subscribers. Very cool. If you like this video, please do that. And until I see you next time, go blue, even though they're not playing.